We've had a busy day here on B Varsity Live already. I like it. It's Thursday, November fifth, and uh, we had we started with with the three Kern, Kern County golfers headed to the uh, regional Southern California Championship. That's next Thursday on the twelfth down uh, in the Riverside area in Drupa Hills. Yeah, Goose Lake, I think. So, and uh, they they will there. they will try to become the first girls golfer from this area to make state since Megan Shane of Frontier did. I want to say in 2011. I'm guessing on the years right around there. Uh, her senior year, she made it to state, and I believe she's the only girls golfer from Kern County ever to do it. So, it would be special if any of them could do it. We moved on, uh, had some girls tennis players in here from Stockdale. They play Buchanan next Tuesday for the Valley Championship. Third time in four years those two schools have squared off. They've each won once. And then Buchanan won it again last year. Over Bullard. Yeah, yeah beating Bullard. Uh, so we, we have football predictions to come, obviously. And uh, then we will but, – but before then, we will also talk about other sports. Volleyball wrapping up tonight, Trevor. Yeah, all five of the Kern County leagues have actually kind of the league championship has already been decided. Yeah, a little well, anticlimactic it as is, far as league it, races, it, but that's yeah, all right. Yeah, it is, but it's fine. I mean, you still get senior nights and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I, I, I think that tomorrow when the seedings come out, that's the biggest thing. Kind of figuring out is Liberty, you know, you got to figure, you know, they're the favorite over Bakersfield tonight on the road. So uh, they would be 10 and 0. If Clovis East can beat Central on the road, they would be 9 and 1 on the track. And then Clovis, you know, and then with Liberty having a loss to Clovis West and all that kind of stuff uh, before league season started, you know, the, the seating committee is going to have a little trouble trying to figure out is Liberty a 10 and 0 in league, number one, even though they lost to a track team before league started. So it'll be really interesting. But I mean, that's a really good Liberty team. And we can't forget about Centennial. That's still a very, very, very very good. I mean, you look at them. The only two losses they have to section opponents are two Liberty and five set matches. Right, so. and and I think it, it bears repeating. Liberty probably has the strongest overall resume in yeah. the section. My opinion should be the number one seed, but you can make an argument for Clovis East if the Timberwolves win tonight because Clovis West did beat Liberty, and Clovis East has split with Clovis West. Yeah, th- so. there's that, and then. then you know, it, it, Clovis East, my biggest issue with Clovis East early on was kind of like with what we dealt with Independence, where they didn't play a lot early on, so we mm-hmm. didn't get a lot of good looks at them in September. The only time that I saw Clovis East play was a tight five-set match where they won 3-2 over Frontier here in town. Mm-hmm. Um, I just I, – I, I don't know how much in-section – you know, play they had. You know, obviously their one league loss is Clovis West. Liberty's one loss to you know. Uh, well, section they didn't opponents. Look, yeah, they, they yeah, lost to Clovis West. Yeah. Se- section opponents is to Clovis West, so it'll be interesting. I still think Liberty is the number one seed, but here's the thing: it doesn't matter if you're the one or two this year because it's a neutral site for the championship. So the one thing that, that you want is the one seed or the two seed. You play the quarterfinals and the semifinals at home. That's the clincher there. You want a one or two seed, and then you get the uh, at, at West Hills and Lemoore, yeah, so the, where the, the championships are. Championships this year, all in one day, West Hills College and Lemoore. That's November the 21st. That's two Saturdays from this Saturday. So yeah. that's when it all wraps up. Now, having said that, the important thing might be the distinction between number two and number three. Yeah. Any chance Centennial gets number two over Clovis East? You I have them number two in your rankings. But. I do. I do. But the problem is that I think they're going to look at the track champion over the number sure. two in the SWIL. So I think that... Now, Centennial did go undefeated against the track this year, but they did not play Clovis East. Exactly. So, so, so they beat no Clovis, head-to-head. and they beat Clovis when Taitlin uh, Ballard was still healthy before she had the ankle injury. So that's a good win for Centennial early on. They beat Clovis West. So Centennial still got a really good resume to get the two seed. They're not out of it, but if Clovis East beats Central tonight, I've got to figure that they're going to get the two seed over. And, and of course, there's still Central's a very good team as well, so that's no. But gimme that in. also sets up the the chance that if the two, if either one of those are the two and three, you know, Centennial could still roll, and we can get a all Kern County championship. Absolutely, yeah, it could happen. And uh, of course, in Division Two, Independence looks like a lock for the number one seed. All these teams finishing up their regular seasons tonight, and the seeding comes out tomorrow. Yeah, That will be before the final night of, of football regular season. And then on Saturday, we'll get football seeding. We'll talk some more about that, but obviously still a game to be played for everybody there. Uh, and also on Saturday, the cross-country county championships in the morning before the individual tennis yeah. championships. Uh, tell us a little bit about what we should expect from cross-country. Uh, it'll be really our first big chance here in the county to see McFarlane freshman sensation. I mean, I'm not, that's not a hyperbole. She is a sensation. Diviana Salcedo, this girl is running incredibly well. 
Her time at Woodward Park a month ago would have put her in the last three years in the top five in her division at state every single year. And she's only a freshman. So it'll be really fun to be able to see her. Um, it's going to be really interesting to see how Cagney Duncan can run against her. Cagney obviously has been the top other Kern, top Kern County and SWL runner all season long, just kind of a almost obliterating the competition, really. Right. I mean, she's getting but she hasn't quickly, faced Deviana. But she has not faced Deviana. And then you look at the boys' side, it's still, you know, it's, you know, Miguel Morales and, and, and uh, Garcia at a Liberty. It'll be interesting to see how they can run against the McFarland guys. So this is the first big chance that you can see kind of all of the county. And I'm hoping, and I haven't looked at the scenes, I'm hoping, like, wonderful prep out of Delano is there to see how good of a D5 team this really is. Because we actually do have a lot of great competition. you got both the uh, North boys and girls, uh, Liberty girls in D3, North is in D2, uh, Shafter's running well again. In I boys. believe in the past even Burroughs has come out for the county championships. Yeah, so, so it'll be really fun. And to they kind usually of, have decent teams. Yeah, so the girls will go at 11 a.m. over at Hard Park. The boys will go at 11.30 for the varsity races. Obviously, fr- Frost off and JV before that in the morning. I like this crisp air. I don't like seeing cross country in the middle of the summer when it's 100 degrees right. outside. I like it when it's this weather, when the leaves are turning. This is cross country weather to me because it allows you to get that feel of what you're going to see at Woodward Park later this month in the section and in the state championship. Well, I'm really looking forward to that to, to seeing how that girls race shapes out between Deviana Salcedo and and Cagney Duncan and, and maybe Maggie Baker gets in. You yeah, know, you knows? know Maggie's still kind of dealing with some illnesses. She's coming around, but you know, like she's always said, you know, she'd be- rather be smart than fast. And so, you know, Maggie's a fantastic runner, and she'll always be there. So, yeah. congratulations. Very to cool. Her. Not very many sports have this county championship. They have right. league championships and mm-hmm. maybe area, but it, it is Kern County. Burroughs will come in everywhere from Burroughs all the way out to Taft, all, up to Delano. I mean, all yeah. these schools will be here, and it'll be a true county championship. Uh, with with uh, cross country and then water polo playoffs begin next week as well. Mm-hmm. We know both Garces boys and girls have terrific water polo teams and they Incredible. should contend for section championships too. So all the sports sort of getting into postseason or wrapping up postseason as we talked about golf and tennis. Uh, 